Fish Bowl Aquarium Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hat Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I have a cute little 4D fish bowl that is an aquarium style so it has liquid in it and then the little fish moves around in there and as you guys may be able to see my water tinted orange which is something that I there was a preventative step that I did not realize I had to do and I'm uploading this so that you guys can see that you know everybody makes mistakes and that you will learn hopefully from my mistake and can avoid it in the future. So I hope you guys like this design even though my water is a little murky looking and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of a minty green acrylic. So my little fishy is orange, and if you guys may have possibly noticed in the little clip I had that the orange bled into my water, making my water kind of a yellowy, sludgy looking color, and I promise you that was not intentional. And I always upload these things when I have mishaps, and obviously you could take it apart and drain the water out and fix it and put it back together. But I like to show mishaps like this and accidents because I've had people ask, do I ever have anything that goes wrong or what happens when you have a nail that fails? Um, I share it with you guys. You know, we all have those days. So anyways, I will tell you why my water turned orange so that hopefully you guys can prevent that on your own little fishbowl. So after I have my nail, I have the color in the background, then encased with clear, and then I'm going to be filing it into shape with my e-file, starting out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then going over it with a finer bit to smooth it out. Then I'm going to take a couple shades of green on the same brush. I'm going to be painting some seaweed pretty much in the middle of the nail. So I have a lighter green and a darker green. And when I dipped my brush, I just double dipped it. And then after that's dried and you have your little seaweeds done, apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and cure it. And I'm going to take, and I have a cotton ball that I'm going to shove up into one of the fingers of a, either a a latex or a nitrile glove. So just make it so it's got a nice little fishbowl round bulb shape. And then hold that very tightly and use some builder gel. You can either use, I'm using a builder in a bottle or you can use, you know, a pot of builder gel and paint that around the tip of that finger. After that's cured, I'm going to be applying some gel sealer over the top of it and then curing that again. And when you're curing this, turn the finger a little bit so that it's making sure it's curing on all sides. Pop that off the glove. It should come right off and then apply some gel sealer on the inside and cure it again. After you have it to this point, go ahead and glue your little fish bowl over the top of your seaweed on the nail. Just don't worry about securing or glue or filling in any of the back stuff at the moment. Just glue that down so it's stuck there. And then I'm going to take some clear acrylic on a nail form backing and I just made kind of a partial circle shape and I made it bigger than my fish bowl is intentionally. Then glue that behind on the one side to kind of fill in the gap behind the fish bowl to the nail. Then take clear acrylic and fill in any gaps. So there's, you're going to want to fill in the gaps around the edge of the fishbowl and then the gaps between that little filler piece and the nail. So just add plenty of acrylic and fill in any gaps on that side. Don't be stingy with it at this point because you don't want there to be any little microscopic holes that is going that might uh, mess up your design and make it leak. And then again on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting out a little orange fishy. And so as I mentioned, my orange acrylic bled into my water. This orange acrylic I'm using is a Young Nails acrylic, but it's an old formula of theirs. This acrylic is probably five years old, six years old almost. And so it's super intensely pigmented, which is very good, but it also, I've had issues with it bleeding. Like if I have different colors that I'm using together and it also stains my brush and my monomer. And if you're using an acrylic that tends to do that, which there are definitely some that do that, black is uh, notorious for such things. Make sure that you completely top coat your fish. Gel sealer that bad boy all the way around on all sides. And that will help this orange water problem. So I've got his tail and his um, his fins, both pectoral and dorsal, and his lips with a more of a minty, or not a minty, a uh, creamy orange color. And I have his eye that's white, and then I'm going to take and add just a couple little details on my fishy with some acrylic paint, some little black outlines. I added some more white on his face, and then apply some gel sealer on top of it, cure it. I only put gel sealer on the front of my fish. Make sure that you guys put gel sealer all the way around your fish just to be on the safe side. And now I'm going to be sculpting another little filler piece, but this one I'm not going to make it so it's going to fill that side in completely. So as you'll see, there's going to be a little gap in the top left corner of my fish bowl. So glue that next filler piece down 
behind your fishbowl once again. So just hold that in place. And like I said with the other one, I made sure that it was larger than my fishbowl because if it's smaller, it's not going to be as easy to fill around. In my mind, it'd be easier to make it too big and then file away extra instead of having it be really a little too small and having to build it up once it's on the nail. Fill in all of the gaps except for leaving that top hole in the front or in the, in the top front of it. And then fill a syringe with some water. You can either use water or a clear oil. And then fill your fishbowl just like that. Dry off any extra water that there might be around the outside edges of it. And then fill in the little hole with clear acrylic. So just plug that hole and then you can go ahead and very carefully with a hand file, file off any of that extra acrylic. Make sure that you do not file into your fishbowl. The whole idea here is to make it so that that water has no place to go, but right where it is so it can't leak out. So make sure that you're filing it. You don't file any really soft spots into the fishbowl and make it so that there is a spot for the water to leak out from. So just go around all the edges just like that make sure that it looks really nice and then add a little base to your fishbowl on the bottom with a tad more of the clear acrylics so just add a little kind of a pancake shape on the bottom and then add a second pancake shape to the top for where the brim of the fishbowl would be just like that and as you can see my water got progressively oranger which was unfortunate but then apply a final layer of gel sealer over your fishbowl and that one is all done it goes perfectly well with my little 4d kitty cat with the moving tail if you guys missed that video i did upload that last night and i will put a link to it in the description box below so in case it was missed you can easily find it this little set i think is so cute together even with the orange water i think it's still adorable and the little fishy does move around in there because he's got plenty of space so i hope you guys like this design as much as i do and share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye